In this video, we will spread some knowledge about Labrador Retrievers as a breed. The Labrador Retriever was bred to be both a friendly companion and a useful working dog breed. Historically, they earned their keep as fishermen's helpers, hauling nets, fetching ropes, and retrieving fish from the chilly North Atlantic. Modern labs work as retrievers for hunters, assistance dogs, show competitors, and search and rescue dogs, among other canine jobs. We have divided the Labrador facts in the following categories. Number 1. Breed Characteristics. Good for first-time owners. Affectionate with the family. Kid-friendly. Dog-friendly. Friendly towards strangers. Easy to groom. Prone to obesity if overfed. Generally healthy breed. Intelligent and easy to train. High prey drive. High energy level. Number 2. Size. Males stand 22.5 to 24.5 inches, and weigh 65 to 80 pounds. Females stand 21.5 to 23.5 inches, and weigh 55 to 70 pounds. Number 3. Personality. The Lab has the reputation of being one of the most sweet-natured breeds, and it's well-deserved. They're outgoing, eager to please, and friendly with both people and other animals. Aside from a winning personality, they have the intelligence and eagerness to please that make them easy to train. Number 4. Health. Labrador Retrievers are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all labs will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. Hip dysplasia. Hip diplasia is a heritable condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip joint. Elbow dysplasia. This is a heritable condition common to large breed dogs. Osteochondrosis dissecans. This orthopedic condition, caused by improper growth of cartilage in the joints, usually occurs in the elbows, but it has been seen in the shoulders, as well. It causes a painful stiffening of the joint, to the point that the dog is unable to bend his elbow. Cataracts. As in humans, canine cataracts are characterized by cloudy spots on the eye lens that can grow over time. Progressive retinal atrophy PRA, PRA is a family of eye diseases that involves the gradual deterioration of the retina. Epilepsy. Labs can suffer from epilepsy, which causes mild or severe seizures. Tricuspid valve dysplasia TVD, TVD is a congenital heart defect that has been increasing in prevalence in the Labrador breed. Myopathy. Myopathy affects the muscles and nervous system. Gastric dilatation volvulus. Commonly called bloat, this is a life-threatening condition that affects large, deep-chested dogs like labs, especially if they're fed one large meal a day, eat rapidly, or drink large amounts of water or exercise vigorously after eating. Acute moist dermatitis. Acute moist dermatitis is a skin condition in which the skin red and inflamed. Cold tail. Cold tail is a benign, though painful condition common to labs and other retrievers. Ear infections. The lab's love of water, combined with their drop ear make them prone to ear infections. Number 5. Care. The lovable lab needs to be around their family, and is definitely not a backyard dog. If they're left alone for too long, they'll probably tarnish their saintly reputation. A lonely, bored lab is apt to dig, chew, or find other destructive outlets for their energy. Labs show some variation in their activity levels, but all of them need activity, both physical and mental. Daily 30-minute walks, a romp at the dog park, or a game of fetch, are a few ways to help your lab burn off energy. However, a puppy should not be taken for too long walks and should play for a few minutes at a time. You'll need to take special care if you're raising a lab puppy. Don't let your lab puppy run and play on very hard surfaces such as pavement until they're at least 2 years old and their joints are fully formed. Number 6. Feeding. Recommended daily amount. 2.5 to 3 cups of high-quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. Number 7. Coat color and grooming. The coat comes in three colors, chocolate, black, and yellow. Black was the favorite color among early breeders, but over the years, yellow and chocolate labs have become popular. Grooming doesn't get much easier than with a lab, but the breed does shed, a lot. Buy a quality vacuum cleaner and brush your dog daily, especially when they're shedding, to get out the loose hair. Labs need a bath about every two months or so to keep them looking clean and smelling good. Brush your lab's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove tartar buildup and the bacteria that lurk inside it. 
Trim nails once or twice a month if your dog doesn't wear them down naturally. Their ears should be checked weekly for redness or a bad odor, which can indicate an infection. What are your thoughts about this video? Let us know what you think by commenting below. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos.